Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dalia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis, beautiful and brilliant. She is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Sir, welcome to Sag Wayne. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. Make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, uh, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman, urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn artists. What the hell is he doing now? wish I had that jaw. <laughs> Stop, you look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a, like a Greek god or something. I can't. 
can't believe he's actually here, you know, like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since... God. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Knowledge. Well, so, if he kisses your hand, will you ever wash it again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you blush earlier when you put on his makeup. Oh, what can I say? I'm human. Oh, wow. Speaking of, that guy looks a lot like Helmut Kruger. authentic smile that made the girl swoon during the recession. Oh, perfect. Dahlia? Helmut? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing, Helmut. Yeah, Dan, it's me. Oh, uh, you're watching the live feed. No, not anytime soon. Actually, I'm... I'm doing this thing for Dahlia Margolis. It might take a while. Don't ask. <laughs> of course you'll get your 10%, Dan. Look, we both know that I'm past my prime. There's no way but down, Dan, and it's not like I've been an ascetic here. But this way, if I do this, I can leave the game with some startup cash. A lot of startup cash, actually, and I can go into business on my own. Well, I'm, I'm thinking facial products, uh, maybe underwear. Anyway, I gotta go, Dan. I'll see you in Cali, okay? All right, yeah, ciao.
Dahlia. Helmet here. Remind me again. Where were you supposed to meet? Second floor. Voltaire suite. Next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No. It's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, then come see me right away. Touch up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. Won't take a second. Appreciate it. the auction and a private audience with Dahlia Margolis. Helmut. Nicely Helmut. done, 47. Please, have a seat. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York, seek out Jessica, and do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful, and should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right. Consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Mm, last resort. Cyanide. Good choice. Uh -huh. <sighs> We've got trouble. Yes? Well, it's a little late now, isn't it? Well done, 47. Viktor Novikov is next. Favorite, apparently. 
palace owner, Mr. Laren, left us the recipe, but I think I left it down in the basement. I'm gonna copy that and laminate it, but... Yeah. According to staff, Viktor Novikov's favorite drink is a rather obscure cocktail known as a bare knuckle boxer. The recipe, however, has been misplaced in the basement. Sounds like a chance opportunity to get on Novikov's good side. Yeah, whatever, who cares? Booze is booze, right? Nah, I should really go look for it. Man pays our wages. Serves a decent drink. Nice work, 47. Time to mix up a storm. You. You look like you know what you're doing. Make me a bare knuckle boxer. Coming right up, Mr. Novikov. <sighs> Finally, a professional. Glad I hired one. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. Well, you gotta hand it to Novikov. Man has a flair for the dramatic. Secret exchange at the pavilion. Very cloak and dagger. Who's the contact again? Max Decker of the Russian FSB. I don't know. Some Cold War dinosaur. Well, must be pretty important for Novikov to take time out during the show. Novikov is meeting Max Decker, a senior agent in the Russian FSB. Small world. The FSB has been mounting a criminal case against Novikov, but Decker's boss, FSB Section Chief Nikolai Kamarov, committed suicide only last night. Or perhaps not. Either way, this could be a chance to catch Novikov away from the spotlight. We should go check out the place. Assess security risks. It's pretty exposed for my tastes. Eh, uh, let Kurt worry about that. We've got enough on our hands. Mr. Decker, Mr. Novikov will see you now. I will escort you to the rendezvous point. Ah, great. Thank you. Lead the way. How you been? Escorting Max Decker. Mr. Novikov's orders. Been expecting you. Go ahead. Well, well. No Novikov. Why am I not surprised? Maybe he's fashionably late, sir. Droll, Carson.
Mr. Novikov, I'm at the pavilion. We did wait. Then your guide took us to meet you here, so which is it? I don't know. A security guy. Wore a uniform. Alright, fine. See you soon. Well done, 47. Novikov is about to meet with Decker, and you have a front row seat. He's coming. Our parking is expired. So, uh, I, I gotta ask, Mr. Decker. Section Chief Comrade. Is, uh, is that your handiwork? Look at these hands. I'm a bureaucrat, Carson. I don't go around staging perfect suicides. No, I dare say young Kamarov got a taste of Viktor Novikov. Ask me, he had it coming anyway. Nobody likes an overachiever. And the file. Must be pretty important for Novikov to cough up seven digits. Sin. Every bit of dirty intel the FSB ever collected on him. Our friend Novikov wasn't always in fashion, Carson. But... The public has a short memory span. Ah, uh, and now he's tying up loose ends. Securing his legacy. And our retirement plans. Mr. Decker. How are things at the office? That's 91 all over again. Kamarov is found dead. Gun in hand. Office locked from the inside. In his safe, evidence that he was leaking state secrets to Langley. An FSB section chief, Kremlin's golden boy, a CIA spy. <laughs> Look, I don't know who you hired to pull this off, but I want his number. Trust me, you don't. The case file, please. Right, right. Of course, last and only copy. There was an unfortunate server room fire at HQ. Misery loves company. Oh, 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 Mr. Decker. <laughs> you know, I do believe this is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. The money's being wired to your account. Do I need to call my guy in Switzerland? <laughs> Why, haven't you heard? I am an honest businessman. Do svidania, Mr. Decker. Ah, well, that's that. Take a stroll, would you, Kurt? I'd like to savor the moment. You sure that's wise, sir? I'll be fine. Finally. Clean slate. Didn't come cheap, but it was damn well worth it. Shit, ah! Good work, 47. Time to find Dahlia Margolis. I know you had to set it up fast, but you can't just toss equipment around like it's... Yeah, well, it's Miss Margolis' private laptop. The whole auction is running from that thing. What if something had happened to it? You don't have to be sarcastic about it. You know what would have happened, right? She would have shot the messenger. That means me. Fine. Just... just don't do it again. <sighs> Stupid jerk. The Argo auction employs an interactive bidding system controlled from Margolis' laptop. If you can get to it, you should be able to shut down the auction temporarily. This could be an opportunity to catch Margolis away from the spotlight. Oh, hey, 
Hey, mister. Margolis should be here shortly to fix the problem. Good thinking, 47. Wait, wait, what? Server offline? Oh, oh shit! No, 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 that's not good. Okay, okay. Use your stupid head. Uh, what did that IT guy say? Uh, something about uh, uh, tools? No, 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 plugins? Oh, God, why didn't I listen? Delia is going to kill me. She is literally gonna kill, huh? I can't do this. No, I have to get out of here. Haley. Oh, Jared. Um, I, um, I, I thought you left. Haley, you need to get out of here now. Come with me. Let's go. J Jared, uh, you're scaring me. What's happening? I know, okay? About St. Clair's mole. And if I can figure it out, they will too. Don't even deny it. There's no time to waste. I'll get you out of here, but we gotta leave now. I... Okay, um... Uh, just, just let me get my... Uh... Just leave it. Let's go. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. That guard who's always in here. Haley, you stupid cow. Oh, is there like a, a bodyguard academy or something? Whoa, man! <laughs> no. I need help right now! Well done, 47. Victor Novikov is next. According to the room plan, the infamous Sheikh Salman Al Ghazali resides in Suite 2. The Al Ghazalis are known terrorist supporters and Salman is surely one of Iago's most prominent clients. He will no doubt have unlimited access to the auction. Better yet, he is also a notoriously private person. And apart from his family, employees, and close friends, few have seen his face up close.
Your Excellency Sheikh Al Ghazali. Miss Margolis invites you to join her in her office. No further bid. Well, they say that money makes people go blind. If that is true, you pick the perfect disguise. Sheikh Salman Al Ghazali heir to one of the largest fortunes in Arabia. And yet you bother to dabble in politics. Very commendable. You had something to show me? Oh, I do indeed. My organization has serendipitously acquired a list of names. British MI6 agents working in your very backyard. A knock list? Now, I normally don't like to play favorites, but I do like to see my merchandise put to good use. And I think I know a perfect match when I see one. So how about it? Interested? I'm interested. Excellent. It's off the table then. Well done, 47. Victor Novikov is next. Modeling agency. With him in order, Your Highness. Yeah. contractor did this whole light rig setup. It's the flimsiest shit I've ever seen. Well, these bozos realize what happens if it drops. Everybody on stage will be crushed. Uh-uh. Never gonna happen. Oh, yeah? Murphy's Law ring a bell? Yeah, yeah. If anything that could go wrong actually went wrong... <sighs> the light rig could potentially crush anyone on stage below. I suggest you locate the stage schedule. If Novikov is head designer Sebastian Seder's replacement, we can probably tweak the odds in our favor. A fragile genius known to suffer from wild mood swings, Sato shouldn't be hard to get rid of. Be gentle, though. He is an artist, after all. The friggin' universe wouldn't even be here. Nah, uh, that, that's different, though. Many leading scientists now support the multiverse theory, which means that everything that could go wrong did, in fact, go wrong. Just you know, not here. Oh, oh, thank you, Carl Sagan. I am familiar with the multiverse theory, Chief. Anyway, mark my words, that light rig is bad news. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Good thinking, 47. When Novikov takes the stage, he will be right where we want him.
guess I... Oh, oh, are you? Um, yeah, well, look, yeah, I know it's late, but look, if you could just... Look, look, I only need a lens for my camera. It's an emergency. Palady Walewska. It's downtown at... Yes, the Sanguine Fashion Show. I'm about to do an interview with Victor Novikov, and my intern must have just dropped the equipment bag, because... No, look, I'll meet your guy out front. According to the young fashion blogger, Novikov has agreed to do a live interview. This could be a good time to catch the Sanguine CEO off guard. The location, however, is currently unknown, and in any case, the blogger needs a replacement lens for her camera. May I suggest you help a girl in need? I literally, look, I literally run alongside the van and throw money in the window, right? He won't even have... No, please, look, this is like make or break for me. I'll totally make it up to you. I'll advertise you shamelessly. No, no, it, well, it's a webzine. All the rage, you know, about fashion, lifestyle, and... Oh, come on, please. I'll be forever grateful. You'll help a fellow human break free from the shackles of obscurity. It's not every day you get to say that. Fine. Thanks for listening. Excuse me, miss. I couldn't help but over here. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, God, yes! Yes, thank you so much. Oh, what do I owe you? Just glad I could help. Thanks, mister. You're a lifesaver. Hi, I was here earlier. Lana, Caprice, I'm here to interview Victor Novikov. I'll let him know you're ready, miss. Tell Mr. Novikov the interview is a go. No, the other. to find Dahlia Margolis. According to the pyrotechnician schedule, Novikov plans a grand fireworks display at the end of the Sanguine show. Not a bad distraction. The fireworks are located on a barge in the Seine. However, first you need to find the detonation remote. Wow. Never knew this stuff was so complicated. What's the Good work, 47. Uh, when everyone is looking at the sky, no one is looking at you. He wants to trigger the fireworks himself. All right, whatever he wants, it's his money.
targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. <laughs> <laughs>